Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I know we've had a little bit of a break, but um, it's summertime and we're back into cooking things that are healthier for the summer. So everybody wants stuff that's a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher. Part of what we do with health interventions is making sure that we can teach you how to kind of modify the things that you used to eat into something that you still like that's a little bit healthier version. So nobody's perfect, eating habits aren't perfect, but we're gonna get you as closer to healthy as we can. So what we're gonna make today is um, pasta salad. So everyone loves pasta salad, right? But how am I gonna make pasta healthier? So I'm using red lentil rotini instead of using the pasta noodles. So when we use the lentil rotini, this actually has a lot of protein in it for you. And if I look here, I'll tell you, this has 50 grams of carbs, but it has nine grams of fiber and 21 grams of protein in it. So when you're trying to get a little extra protein, this is fabulous. So you want us to make sure that you count this in your daily counts of food. You want to make sure that you're not going over your carb count, um, but good source of protein and fiber. So what I'm going to do is, I've already cooked this, and I've cooled it. I ran it under cold water so that it was ready to be used. Um, you just boil it for the usual directions on the package, about 8 to 10 minutes, and then rinse it off uh, with cold water and put it into your bowl. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some chickpeas to this because these also have a lot of protein and a lot of fiber. And protein is something that a lot of people are missing when it comes to their nutrition. So this is just an extra way to add that in there. So dump that whole can in. And yes, I used the whole box of the routine and the whole can of chicken meats here. So also, for the sake of time, I went ahead and prepped our vegetables to put in here. You can put whatever kind of vegetable that you want in here. So if you don't like red peppers, you don't have to put them in there. If you don't like cucumbers, you don't have to put them in there. But keep the veggies that you would like to put in. So I have red peppers, and I, this is one red pepper, so I'm add it to here, and then I have um, some tomatoes that I've chopped up into little, little squares, and cucumbers, this is just one whole cucumber, so put that in there, and this is salad supreme, so salad supreme is what, salad supreme in the Italian dressing is what um, pasta salad is all about, that's where the flavor comes from. So, I don't measure, you know that, I don't measure. So I usually take a half a container of the Salad Supreme for the one box and dump that in there. And for the Italian dressing, it calls, it, you should do um, eight ounces. This is a 16 ounce, so I'll put half of it in there. But I can add to it if I want to. So when we're using a dressing, we wanna make sure we use a pure dressing. And so that's what this is, is. You can see through it, not things like the ranch, the cream-based dressings, because they have a lot of extra saturated fats and colors you don't need. So if you look in here at this, just stirring it up, it looks all nice and pretty. We've got different colors to it. And I know I said eight ounces, but I think I'm gonna put the whole 16 ounces in this actually. So if you look down here, in the bottom of the bowl, you can see that a lot of that Italian dressing sinks down into the bottom. So you want to make sure you stir it up really good. The rotinis hold on to that better. But I don't see enough on my actual pasta. And pasta kind of sucks up the dressing. So you don't really, you, you want to have more of it. If you don't use it all, it's going to sink to the bottom. So it's okay, you're not hurting anything. it up I can see more of it on the actual noodles so when you're adding this into your my fitness pal we're actually going to add it in there and you should be able to search it by health interventions pasta salad but for some reason it doesn't come up for you you can actually enter your own recipes into my fitness pal so you would scan the label box and you can see and anyway, go ahead and put all of this nutritional information in for you um, and then everything that you've used and create the recipe and break it down into serving sizes and then you're able to put that into your daily count with what you made and so you know that your counts are accurate all right so this looks really tasty lots of fiber lots of protein cool dessert cool salad for summertime hope you enjoy it